Welcome to the Kindly Crown Show. This is our Pico Talk section. It's another beautiful day. Yes. And we have with us a very elegant guest. Please join me as we make welcome Mr. Toby to the Pillow Talk section for today. <laughs> Song. Yeah. Oh my god, it's so good to be here finally for the pillow talk. Where we spill everything today. You're welcome. Thank you. Please have a say. Thank you so much. You're so full of love. Hmm. I mean, we're going through a lot already, Abby. Uh, <laughs> you look very calm. Thank you. Very colorful you very and much. handsome. Thank you. Thank yes. you. I love the way you look. I love the way you speak. It's very put together. <laughs> I could tell that maybe you've done some sort of um, international. <laughs> you know, no. no I, I can see it there. I can see oh it. Oh my it's goodness. Really Thank Please you. Please let's get to know who you are. Okay. So my name is Toby Olamide LMB. I'm born in Nigeria, definitely. I'm from Kogi State. Uh, I know many people do not believe. They think I'm from Lagos or Ogun State because of the energy you see. But I'm from Kogi State. Um, I schooled outside Nigeria for a while. I stayed outside Nigeria for six years. So I think that's where I picked up my whole energy, my fashion, my interest in myself. So I think, yeah, basically, I'm a pageant model and runway coach and it's Ow. such an honor to be in this industry because it gives me the opportunity to be myself and just express myself in everywhere i want to so that's such an amazing thing to do yeah yeah when you say you were outside for a while and that gave you the opportunity that means you being out was when you discovered or knew this was in you or became who you are today okay great so um i don't think where i was was the reason why i discovered okay but i think that where i was was the reason why i was ready to try the discovery i've always known that i'm very super special and i've always known that i have the attributes of a star mm. you, know, you know that kind of thing but just being outside this environment made me realize that okay yes you can show the stardom don't be scared to be seen don't be scared to be heard don't be scared to be yourself so yes um the environment one find themselves really pays a lot to who they eventually end up becoming so yes that's you can say that again day, yes you can say that again <laughs> but that's one good thing about environment yes it actually brings out something in you. Yes, it does. That you never knew yes, that does. you have. It does. Guys, <laughs> it's going to get very juicy. You know, we're getting it gradually. <laughs> we'll be there. We'll be right back. It's time to talk. Welcome back. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Tell us about your childhood. Mm, childhood. What was spectacular? Okay. Something that, like, this is something I can never forget. Hmm. Good and bad. Okay, great. So let's start with bad. Okay. <laughs> so I'm a strong-willed child. That's SWC. <coughs> Excuse me. Strong-willed children are children who always want to break the norm. They want mm -hmm. to break the bias. They want to do something other than the norm or the usual. And sometimes it puts us in trouble, you know. Growing up, I think I was 12. Yes, I was 12. And I drove my mother's car. <laughs> it's far-fetched because we're in Africa. Outside Africa, it's not a big deal. Yeah, Someone. yeah, at 12. <laughs> at 12. I think I was 12. 11, 12. 12, yes, because I was done with junior secondary school. And that time. was thick, you know. It's, it's, it's not like the it's drive. Not, no, it's mm -hmm. not automatic. It's, it was it's yes. proper. And that was my first time starting a car. Wow. No jokes. Like starting, like I would see my mom start it. I'll see how she'll put it into the this and this gear one gear two. I saw the numbers on it, but I would never had imagined that. So what happened with that day was um, she had sent me to go pick my kid brother from school. Yes, I was twelve. I can remember because he was around nine, and I didn't want the money she gave me for a taxi. I used it 
So uh, being a strong rich child, I grew up very, I'm the one who is very social, the most social one. So even things that people older than me should be doing, they would give me to do it because they know that I would accomplish it. You can do it, yeah. Great. Exactly. So she gave me, I remember she gave me one five. Aye. Anybody knows Abuja very well knows the difference between area, area one and Otaku and that big express, how it is. So um, <laughs> I spent the money on data because I think I was doing to go. At 12? <laughs> I did. I know. I don't remember what I was doing. It was Facebook or to go, but I know that I had a good smartphone at that time. And at 12, I was already browsing the internet on so many things. I would watch um, fashion courses online and my mom's data would finish and I will just drop the phone like I didn't do it and wipe up the chat. The history? <laughs> <laughs> so she wouldn't know. So I remember she gave me that money and she went to the market. Now, she, the, the market she went to was somewhere around the airport. It's called day day market or something. Mm -hmm. So she went that far. Far, yeah. And I, in my mind, I thought she would come back early, and I'll just beg her, "Mommy, let's drive and go. I'll give you your money back later." That's me. Ah, me day. So <laughs> she didn't come back on time, and my brother closed. And this was thirty minutes after my brother closed, and I didn't have money. Initially, I walked to the gates. Then I'm like, "Wait, I'm walking to the gates. Am I going to walk to, to, to his school? school and walk back with him?" <laughs> wow. <laughs> I went back, went upstairs, picked a khaki. This was a Mercedes Benz. You know those old bears i cannot forget it was brown wow. <laughs> it had this very very ugly reel it was it was i hmm. now thinking of it i'm like okay i've done something you know, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. and that's how i got into the car started the car i just put this thing on let's drive and you just started and i just kept going i just kept if you look if you saw me in that car that day i think i was like this <laughs> Then on the way, I saw a friend of mine on the way. I picked him up. And he didn't even, I think he was a year older, 13 or something. He didn't even was ask if it was safe. Ask. Oh, my God. That's how I drove all the way to my brother's school. I got to my brother's school because they know me. So my, my church has the school. So they know me in church. So they would allow me to pick him. So they, they were like, uh-uh, you came to pick your brother. Who drove? I said, my mom is in the car. And then... <laughs> they released him to me. I signed. I put him in the car. When he entered the car, I was like, eh? Where's mom? Where's mom? I said, uh, she's down the road. Let's just be going. Before you know, I've entered the express back and we're at home. No accident, no injury, no stop, no police. <laughs> no, nothing. God have mercy. <laughs> he really needed to have mercy. Then my mother came back and she could not sit for three hours. She was panicking. She was checking his body, checking my body, checking her car, checking everything. Then she called the prophet. I remember she got <laughs> <laughs> she called she called the prophet so while she was on call speaking to the prophet my dad had traveled to lagos he had landed that evening so it was on his way coming home he didn't know what was happening so she was shouting with the prophet talking to my father just entered the house i was like what's the problem and i said toby drove the car he drove the car he drove the car they were like where is it toby me i think i was downstairs i was hiding somewhere i still don't remember then they said who did he drive they said my brother so my father reached out and to my your brother friend? Quickly, and my, no, I didn't go put my friend inside. <laughs> Wait, no, I didn't put my friend. So my, my father quickly went to check my brother. I so saw my brother was okay. Now he looked for me. I said, come, I'm not going to beat you. Just come. Ah, that's the biggest lie. Any child watching me, when they tell you I'm not going to beat you. <laughs> Run. Wait for it. <laughs> what is that? Run. <laughs> so I, they told me I'm not going to beat you. That means I believed him. Oh my God. I came upstairs feeling happy that yes, they are not going to beat me. I've improved. I've done something. Let's go to driving school. Collect driver's license. Okay. I came upstairs. As I just said, bim, bim, like they locked the door twice. I said, shh. I should have stayed downstairs. So I should have stayed downstairs. That's why I now started screaming. I said, no, it's not only me that went. I went with my friend. Before you know, we have carried our bag, boo boo. I go into my friend's house. Yeah, my wow. upbringing was really beautiful. Hmm. I grew up my entire life in Abuja. Um, I mean, I was traveling at a very young age, age of 12, 13. I was already going to Lagos and back alone to 14, By yourself? 15. I've always been that child. Independent. Yeah, That's very strong. Independent. Yeah. I couldn't even stay in a boarding school. Hmm. Like, I couldn't stay in a boarding school because. I remember jumping my boarding school fence like five times in a week. I go out, I buy kibishi, I go buy, I buy yam, fried yam. <laughs> <laughs> I wish to see your childhood pictures. I'm telling oh. you. Oh my hmm. goodness. My childhood pictures. Either I'm holding a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Are you the first? 
No, I am the second child. Are no, you I'm serious? Not the I had only the bottle. And my my elder sister was in the same school as like me. So imagine how she was. She was the head girl. Imagine her say, "You, you, your head girl. Your, <laughs> your brother, your brother is always." Sense. One day they carried me to the assembly. Mm -hmm. She didn't even know because head girl, she was literally coming out from the hostel last. And I was already at the assembly kneeling down. And she came and she said, Why are you kneeling down? I said, I jumped fence. Still can't do it to buy bread. And they were flogging my sister like this. Like okay. she didn't even know what to do. You jump fence to go and buy bread. The bread, the bakery is right opposite school. It's smelling nice. School bread is not really good. Oh my god. We have to make this place very hot. <laughs> Guys, let's take a second break. We'll be right back. <laughs> Time to talk. Welcome back. We've been chatting with this very handsome Mr. Toby, <laughs> and his childhood is very, very, I don't know, <laughs> very interesting. Very interesting. Now, I want to know mm -hmm. a little bit about your relationship. Hey, yeah. Uh, now, you know, with your look, you're like, mm. when you go for a party, when you go, and then with your kind of outfit, the attention you get is it more, is it for men or from women? Hey, we. from younger girls. Doo -doo. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I attract everybody. I'm, yeah. I'm sweet like that. Mm. You see, I'm first of all I attract people because I'm very vocal. I speak well. Then secondly because I'm, I'm a love of God. So most of the times you hear me talking about God a lot. Aside that, anybody that's attracted for any other things, your business, so. Wait, wait, wait. So mm -mm. No me one personally. has come to meet you desperately mm -mm. like. Mr. Toby, yeah, let's get down. Life. No, we're not getting down. Yeah. I will go up in Jesus' name. Wait it's a minute. Up. No one has raped I you. I am a chosen. I go up. No one has raped you. No, rape me. Yeah. <laughs> Escape rape. I mean, I mean, it's like, I'm doing nights with G. I'm early morning service. Yeah. Midweek service. Sunday service. You will not see me. I will go up. Are you serious? Up I go. Ele my elevator only keeps going up. Wait it was real as well. Up. When did you have your first girlfriend? Um, I've never or been in a relationship. So, are you a virgin? Yes, I am. Seriously? No, no, no. Joke some Are you a virgin? It should be his pillow talk. Yeah. And his pillow we are talking about now. It's See? <laughs> But you know, it's amazing. No. It is. I know. I know. I know. Um, a couple of my friends are an eye virgin, and then it's weird because sometimes we're talking about it. There's no sexual experience. Yes. It's it's, it's not bad. No, it's not. It's interesting. It is. You see, it's interesting, and I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Hmm. Mm. Ha! <laughs> I think I just want to make money in this life. And not to. <laughs> I just want to make money and travel this life. And go, but you know one thing, because women are put more on the spotlight. I, I, you have to be a virgin, you're not I a know. virgin. But you know, I don't know why they make that thing look like relationships are important for one's growth. Hmm, it's hmm. not. Friendships are not either. Acquaintanceships are probably yeah. easier to do. Especially with this life where we have people who are psychopathic. Hmm. You have to be really careful hmm. who you associate yourself with. Hmm. It is very important. It's getting even you, worse now. It's, it's getting yeah. worse. It's very yeah. important that you, you, you disassociate from people that don't follow the line or the spectrum you've put for yourself and rebrand yourself to look like what you want to be. Personally, I have a very stern look. If I'm not laughing and my face is just like all quiet, like this, people don't even know how to approach me. And I'm very rude. It's like not rude, like condescending rude but rude like I, I have my walls so you don't break out of my walls if i don't want you to break out my walls. Exactly. exactly it happens like Is today it? i went for something you know mm -hmm. i went to do some fingerprinting and yeah. all that and a lot of people were there and this particular guy you know he's trying to get my attention mm -hmm. because i close my eyes like i'm meditating mm -hmm. because i just i was just so that you zone out of everything exactly and in, then the line moved he said, oh, I thought you were sleeping. Mm. I said, I'm not sleeping. Go back. Please, can I have your pen? I you? Do you understand? Uh -huh. And then when I'm leaving, he wanted to like, do you understand? And then I just put this look like, because I yeah. thought he was too forward. People are like that. He was too forward. And mm -hmm. maybe he's been getting his way with people. I was like, no, this guy is too He rude. definitely has been getting his way with people because if he had, if somebody had corrected him prior to today, he wouldn't do that. Yeah. I'm, pers I'm particularly like that. When I feel like you're off guard or offline, I'm going to tell you that, oh, I'm not comfortable with that. Yeah. I don't like people to think that I I'm going to be quiet when I'm not comfortable. Nah, I'm not that person. Mm. Life is already too stressful. We're already going through a mm. lot. You cannot add your own on my own. 
Hmm. Do you understand? It's like if you want to go through a lot and add more, add more on your head. Leave me alone. No, no, he will have air. <laughs> the so guy was on the phone. Me. See, tomorrow he'll be traveling. You know, you know, you know maybe it's his first time. Yeah, Do you yeah, understand? I, so maybe yeah, first, I was just one of those kind of people, ticket. you know. Mm. So, you, you know. Yeah. I don't blame him. Tomorrow he'll be traveling. Yeah, so maybe it's Ikiti is going to. I don't even know. Going guys. To. <laughs> so maybe he's going to Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> who is going to Dubai? I'm just saying. Who wants to give him Dubai visa? Isn't he a Nigerian? Oh my God. Are they, still, are they giving Dubai visa? Do you spend time by yourself, by yourself, Me? all the time? I The best times I spend is when I'm alone. If I'm not here, I'm home. If I'm not in another interview or a class. Like yesterday night, now I slept around 3 a.m. because I had a class. Um, online? An international class, yes, online. Okay. Um, and I had to, it ran late to like 2.30 a.m. I slept at 3 a.m. and woke up had a program this morning before rushing down here it's like if i'm not in any of these activities i'm just gonna be home watching movies i'm that person i like my space i like me i like i just like to think i'm not going to say i don't have worries i don't have issues exactly but i honestly just feel like i cannot solve everything yeah and the things i can't change they will change themselves Themself. and if that's how it has been written to happen it's just going to happen so even if i sit down today tomorrow worry about them it's going to happen the way it's going to happen and then I get to understand that most people that spend time by themselves, for themselves, are actually people that can actually rule the world. You know why? Because you're not crazy about what people say. Mm -mm. You're not thinking about what, what people think. No. You, you and most people don't enjoy them space. If you don't enjoy your space, you're they are always trouble. with people. Yes. Like. They want people to always it's acknowledge them. You feel them. like you want to always be seen. Exactly. No, no, no. Or no, no, people no, no. to always I endorse have, them. I have three mirrors in my house: my parlor, my bathroom, and my room. If I want to be seen, any one of those mirrors can I can see myself. My phone is enough. I feel like you just need to know that I can command myself in my space, and I can be interestingly happy in my space. in my space. Yeah. It's not about having the best food or having the best house. It could be a simple mini flat. That you've made it very comfortable because of how your spirit is so you, your comfort is in your spirit it's not by the gold or by the flower vase or by the chairs no it's just am i sleeping on the floor but am i happy that this is what i can do for myself in my space yes that's it so many a times you just find me in my space if i'm not in my space and i want to travel i'm one of those people who will travel and stay in the hotel Hmm. And people will be like, ah, let's go to explore. Let's go do zip lining. I'm like, no, I don't think I travel for wellness. Hmm. I just wanna, yeah, stay. You people are crazy. Don't wow. put your own on me. So How old are you? <laughs> <laughs> because you're too much No, I know. Okay, take How a guess. Take a guess. take a guess. I give you three guesses, and I'm not going to tell you if you're wrong. If you if you're wrong, but if you're correct, I'll tell you. But yeah. Twenty-seven. Wrong. Teddy. Wrong. Ah. One more, one more. <laughs> no, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have one more. You must take you must take it. I'm not gonna owe you a guest. Take it, take it, take it. Hmm. You're not above Teddy. No, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not. Twenty five. Huh? That was like four years ago. <laughs> that is okay, you're twenty nine. Right? <laughs> so um I, I feel like and I'm I was even born on a very funny day. A day after the independence of Nigeria, so How many kids do you wish or plan to have? Two. Two? I like to have twins. Okay. And that's are, all. Are you a twin? No, I'm not. Do you have twins in your lineage? No, we don't. But just like I, twins. Like I told you, I want to always be the first person to start to something. something. So, yes, I want to have twins. Two girls. Yeah. Really? I want to have two girls. That's beautiful because most African men, Nigerian men, were like, it has to be a boy. No, eh? Yeah. Excuse me, bride price. Are you joking? <laughs> <laughs> You've gone too far. <laughs> No, no, right? no, no, no. Double you know, bride price. You know, and you know they'll be, they'll be beautiful. You know they Look after at my the team. name. What like name? who's going to keep the name? No, 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 the no, family no, no. name. Name will be fine. No. Name. What is name? Name is just. His name. It's just a name. Family wow. name that there's no money attached to the name. Well, which name exactly? Some family are just all bought up. A family name. Odogu yeah, must yeah, carry. Odogu. Yeah. Odogu does not have 50k in his account. <laughs> but Odogu must carry. <laughs> no, no, so but the name, name is, is important now. in Nigeria. Please leave name or leave name. Is it abroad where 
you and I are mother and son, but we're not even bearing the same name. Um, you and you are sisters, but they're not even bearing the same surname. One you don't even know that, yeah. You don't yeah. know that they're siblings. They're siblings. Now. Except so this, yeah. The is, yeah. I want two girls because I, for, aside birth birthright and all those things, I believe in female education. I believe mm. in female wellness. I believe in female growth. And because I work with females a lot, a I've lot, seen yeah. them where they lack. And I don't want my girls to lack. I want my girls mm. to come to this world and feel like, yes, I've I've brought people that I know that I can cater for. Working um, with females a lot. Because we're on mm. pillow talk section. Ah. When we're talking about relationship, it's mm. important. I'm bringing you back. Uh -uh. I will now, have to carry you out again. No, please don't carry me out. <laughs> now you're working with females. No, seriously. Okay, you know, some girls will come on the show mm -hmm. thinking that, okay, they have to pay some price. For them to be crowned or for mm -hmm. them to be head having you know big roles now when they come with that you know intention do you notice and how do you resist so it takes someone who is principled to know that that's not what your job is about yeah um i would never i would never and i would never I repeat it ever allow myself be dragged to the point where that is even a conversation mm. the very moment it becomes a conversation then that's where you lose your respect even before doing it mm. and then what you talk about is what you now want to do mm. so if you keep saying ah i'd like to go to america i'd like to go to america one day you'd want to apply for a visa exactly and buy a ticket and go and go yeah so what you keep saying there's power in the tongue exactly. it's not a joke exactly what you keep saying is what you want to do so why would i why would i want to take advantage of people who want to make a living or why would somebody feel like you need me in bed with you before oh, you yes, can okay. win once you do that you that means you never thought you were good enough for anything but it's common that's, even in school that's that's the problem when people don't know their worth it's common. they offer it and when people don't also know their worth they take the offer hmm. you offering it and you taking the offer both of you don't hmm. know your worth because if you know your worth you realize that i'm worth more than a crown what I like about you is your strong will, which is very good. Thank you. You know, and I want to believe that seriously, you just have a conversation going I do. on. No, 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 it's true. But I like, you know, to see and a I'm young sure the person man. Is watching because yeah. I, I told the person I'm really. Yeah. You know, no, I've never met a guy, honestly speaking, mm -hmm. that is at your age, handsome, seriously, I'm and not, it's I'm not everywhere. No, no, for real. It's not, <laughs> no, no, true. It's not common. So I, I like your strong will, seriously. I'm looking for money. I know, I but <laughs> see, you see, now, now you have see, women is we are distraction. Yes, we are. No, 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 we are distraction. Yes, I say yes, we are. We, yeah, all of us. I, are you a woman? Women plus men. No, yeah. no, no, women are Everybody distraction. Everybody is a distraction. To you, as a woman, a man is a yeah, distraction. That's Me true. As a man, a woman. Is, so we all are distraction. Uh -huh. To each other, we are distraction. So for we you to stay focus like no is money i'm pursuing ah nothing else oh. so even if a woman is you understand you're not supposed to be pushing it no 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 no, 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 no. So, even some guys maybe their first one million ah they can't carry another let, one in the hotel do you that understand I make one million and i carry one do you get my we point follow me to the hotel and collect money they, <laughs> they will not think like how do i invest yes. do you get my point yes. their mind is to go and carry one lady maybe put her in one i guess do you understand fly one from one yeah. country down to nigeria at a young age yes. and then in two weeks what's two weeks and then they go to one one place and do do remi and carry light drink and then they ask for it do remi do remi and when they wake up around me, you know. and ah. when they wake up in the morning the money hmm. is gone it's gone now yeah money is like water. then you can hustle again money is like water when you open the tap oh, except you close that tap back no it's i really adore and respect Thank your you. not true Thank your you. discipline is mm -hmm. very good Thank because it'll make you go far it's my i like I, I think one day i'll see you in the, in in the runway in italy yeah. in the front yeah because you know why i feel when you good put about your you vision said. before yes. you yes. and you walk towards it mm -hmm. of course you're going to fall mm -hmm. but when you get up you become you stronger, stronger and, and you, you know where you're still going, going yes. to. if you which fall is, you're not falling too far no, no, you're not it. falling yeah you're which just, is very good yes and that is very very good very because true. why you have pretty girls everywhere uh -huh they're everywhere beautiful women don't freak me hmm. because i've seen women yeah i work in the women yeah. industry i've seen women i've seen stunning gorgeous international women who have cvs that are strong they've worked with who they've worked with that that and that so nothing nobody freaks me nobody i like to tell you for a fact i don't see anybody as good as i i look so when you're trying to act like um, I, i'm just gonna mm. be like mm, 
Congratulations. I like your personality. <laughs> Thank you. It's been wonderful. I learned, I learned it from my mother. This, really? is, this is how my mother is. Oh. She's very... She knows what she wants in life. Even if at some point life um, took her off yeah. course. But she's still very, very... Um, that person. I'm still very proud of who she is. I wow. give her all the credits for how she has raised me as a person. To respect people to apologize when i'm wrong and above all accept when I i'm have wrong wrong beautiful people, you know? yeah so beautiful yeah. this is wonderful you know life simple things about life is how to say thank you show appreciation no mm -hmm. matter how small mm -hmm. know when you're wrong like you said to mm -hmm. say you're sorry mm -hmm. and accept that you're that wrong, you're wrong. Yeah. you know most time we are all too big in nigeria it's so common to use the word do you know who i am mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. So, f people define fun as sex. Fun shouldn't be sex. You can have fun just by yourself. You can have fun in the things that make you happy. And you can be in a relationship, like you said, which is very true, mm -hmm. without having sex. Yes, because do you have, you know, interest for each other? How long can you stay, you know, doing things together? Yeah. That is your relationship. So, it's been wonderful today chatting with Mr. Tilby. I'm sure you were expecting all those crazy stuff. <laughs> anyway. Hey, thank you guys. Yes. Thank you for having me on the KK show. On the Kane Kandra show. It was a pleasure to speak to Nigerians and tell my story and be interested. It is Pillow Talk. <laughs>